good morning friends in today's lecture we'll see the sign conventions for shear force and bending moment first i will show you when to take positive shear force and when to take negative shear force when you consider a beam in that two methods are there either you can use right section method or you can use left section method if you use right section method in the right section method if the force is in clockwise direction you can see that the force is in clockwise direction then you have to take it as positive shear force or if you are using left section method in this case also the force is in clockwise direction the force is in clockwise di direction then you have to take positive shear force when you have to take negative shear force if the force on the right section is in anti clockwise you can see that the force is in anti clockwise direction then you have to take negative shear force similarly if you take the left section method in this case also the force is in anti clockwise the force is in anti clockwise direction at that time you have to consider negative shear force or in general if the force is acting in clockwise direction whether it is right side or left side if it is clockwise in nature always you have to consider positive shear force if it is in anti clockwise either to the right or left of the section you have to take it as negative shear force now we will see when you will consider positive bending moment and when you will consider negative bending moment this positive bending moment is also called as sagging and negative bending moment is called as hogging the simple way to remember positive bending moment this is how the beam will bend this will look like a smiley face just you need to remember if it is a smiley face then you have to consider it as positive bending moment or if you if it is in a dull face then you have to consider it as negative bending moment in this uh, case also you can consider consider right section or you can consider left section when you are going to take right section or le left section for example i will consider right section in the right section if the bending moment is anti clockwise here you can see the movement movement is nothing but vertical load into perpendicular distance if the movement is in anti clockwise then you have to take it as positive bending moment if it is in anti clockwise the beam will bend in sagging or in a smiley face if you consider a left section method in the left section method it is clockwise in nature if you consider left section method if the moment is in clockwise direction then you have to consider positive bending moment when you have to take negative bending moment in this case i will take right section exactly reverse of this in the right section if it is if the moment is in clockwise direction then i will take it as negative bending moment on the left section if the moment is in anti clockwise direction if the moment is in anti clockwise direction then i will consider it as negative bending moment or simply you remember the it as sagging and hogging smiley face or dull face or still if you are not able to uh, remember it means then you can use a layman method if the vertical force is acting upward whether it is on the left side or it is on the right side always the vertical force which is acting upward the beam will bend in sagging if the vertical force is acting downward if the vertical force is acting downward whether it is on the right side or left section 
always the beam will bend in hogging or it will it will be in a dull phase this is how you can understand in the next lecture i will tell you how to draw the shear force diagram and bending what are the important points you need to consider for drawing shear force diagram and bending moment diagram thank you